This is the Rode Wireless Pro. This has been out for a while now and I've only got a chance to pick one of these up recently and I've been testing this out for about a week. I'm not going to review specifically all of the features and specifications of this device and how the audio quality is. There is a lot of reviews online already that you can see about this microphone kit. What I'm going to do today is talk about my top five features of the Rode Wireless Pro, which you may or may not know about, but it would help you take your filming and your audio recording to that next level. Now, I do want to mention when I'm going through my top five features, I will be removing the microphone from myself and putting them back into the charging case and connecting them to my laptop. So on the top corner of your screen, I'm going to showcase which audio recording equipment I'm using at the time. Right now you're hearing the audio coming directly from the Rode Wireless Pro, which is connected to my shirt. But I'm going to switch over with my Sennheiser shotgun microphone, which is just off the screen to the right here. So keep an eye out for that. But ultimately, this is a really powerful and really great sounding piece of wireless microphone kit. So let's go ahead and dive in and start off with my top five features. Okay, so number one is the 32-bit float backup recording. If you're recording using a wireless microphone and for whatever reason, maybe the audio cut off or the connection between the transmitter and the receiver was broken a little bit, having a safety mechanism in place to have backup recording, just so that you don't lose any of the important audio that you've actually recorded is a key feature for me in any wireless microphone system. And this is what I really like about the Rode Wireless Pros. Now, right now I'm using the Rode Wireless microphone here. There's a button just next to the microphone on the top. If you press this, a little red light will come on just there to let you know the backup recording has now started. And you can use either the file directly from the sync of your video as the audio, or you can take a separate 32-bit float wave uncompressed file directly onto your laptop with the backup from the internal storage on this wireless microphone kit. Now, one thing I also want to show is how to do that via the Rode Central app. So you can go ahead and download that for Mac or Windows. In fact, this app is also available for Android and iPhone as well, but I'm gonna be showcasing it with my laptop. So as I do that, this is currently recording and I've recorded a few example clips already. So you'll see a list of my backup recordings on the transmitter when I do connect it. You will need to connect it in either two ways. First, you need to get the USB-C to USB-C cable that came in the box, and then you can connect the transmitter directly onto your laptop, and it just pops up in your finder as like an external USB drive, and you'll see all of the WAV files as the backup recordings there. That's very simple, and actually that's the fastest way. But also, I want to show you how it looks via the app, because I think the app is also great to take your pro kit to that pro level. So now I'm going to turn this off, get the transmitter and the receiver back into the charging case and connect it to the Rode Central app, just so I can showcase how that works. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so everything is connected. I have both the transmitters and the receiver in the charging case connected via USB-C. When you open up the Rode Central app, it pops up immediately, there's no configuration, and you can see them listed here on the left. So you have your charging case there at the top, you have your wireless pro, which is the receiver, and then two transmitters. So the bottom one here, this is the one that I was using. And as you can see, it has all of my backup recordings in place there. And it's very quick and easy to even customize at this stage before you export them to your local drive. So you can click any one of these ones. And then on the right hand side, you have a bit of configuration of what type of format you want to export it in. If you do prefer MP3, then it gives you that option. But WAV is probably going to be the best quality audio. So I've left these all on the defaults, 48 kilohertz. So bit depth, I want to switch that over to 32 bit float. It gives you much better clarity in your audio and the loudness, I'll leave that off. And then all I have to do is select export. And there we go, the export is in progress. And you can select all of them, some of them, whichever options you want. And it's a very quick and convenient way to have backup recording. Number two is the ability to use this wireless microphone kit very easily with your laptop. Whether that's Windows or Mac, it's great. All you need to do is connect your receiver to your laptop via the USB-C cable. So this is attached and all you need to do is go into your settings, go into your sound and then where it is input, you just need to select the Rode Wireless Pro RX. So there it is listed there. It's immediately available as soon as you plug it in. So now I can set the input for the microphone in whichever app I want to do my recordings or calls 
to use the Rode Wireless Pro. Now I have the transmitter connected to my shirt, but obviously you can put this on to any type of mini tripod if you want to do like a little podcast type setup. But this is now available to use as your input microphone. So for example, if I want to take calls via Zoom on a meeting with my colleagues, you can now go in and under the audio settings, you can simply select Wireless Pro as the microphone there. And this is great audio, so if you don't have really good microphones on your laptop, then this is also an option which is great to work with your laptop for whatever scenario you need to. So for me, that is a very great option. Okay, third, this is a great option if you want to utilize both of the transmitters to have either separate split audio or have them merged depending on the scenario of your filming. So I've connected this back onto my laptop via the charging case. You can see all three are now listed here. When you do go into the receiver, this is where you can change some of these settings for the split or merged. So let's go ahead and take a look how to do that. Now this first option here under routine, you can see by default it's selected as merged. You have the option here to select this and you can see what the merged look like. The left and the right channels will merge the first and second transmitters or you can even have all three microphones merged together. And when I say all three, this is also another feature that I like about the Rode Wireless Pro. The receiver that you've attached to your camera, if you have a compatible camera that can use the USB-C connection as its input for the microphone, then the 3.5 millimeter jack for the audio microphone cable can then be used with your headphones, which then you can use the microphone on your headphones as a third mic as part of the whole system. So you can also merge that here, and I think that's also a great option. But if you want to split it, then here you can see very easily, you can set it to split. So you have the left and right channels recording the audio separately, or you can have the, both the transmitters under one channel merged, and then you can have the receiver as the right channel, just when you are using a headset. Now safety is also an option whereby it does take into consideration merging the transmitters as the primary audio source but the right channel will just be at a lower volume, whether you're using just those transmitters together, or if you want to use the headset with the receiver, then you can see here, it mentions that the right channel is output at a lower level. Bit of a safety feature if you don't want the right channel to be overpowering the main audio recording source, which will be the transmitters. But again, that's an option that you have, but most likely you would either use split, maybe if you're doing interviews or a podcast with someone else, but in most scenarios and in my scenarios, for sure, merged is what I'm going to be using the most. So that is a very quick and convenient way to change those settings if either of these match the type of filming you want to do. Okay, number four is the use of markers. Now I only have one transmitter connected to the charging case connected to my laptop on the Rode Central app here. So the, currently the audio you're hearing is from the Rode Wireless Pro itself. I've got the receiver attached to my camera, but I just wanted to showcase how to use markers. Now, when you do have all of your mics set up in a charging case, you can change a couple of settings. If you want the receiver to be able to set a marker in your audio recordings, then all you need to do is select the receiver here on the Rode Central app. And then on the right hand side, you can see where it says record. You actually change that setting to marker. And that would allow you to use the road button on the receiver every time you press it to set a green flag in your audio recording. But what I think is easier is for the person that's recording the audio themselves using the transmitter to manually add a marker whenever they need to. And to have that setting, you go back into the Rode Central app once it is connected. You have a little settings button on the Wireless Pro TX option on the left. You select this. And right there in the middle where it says road button and currently the default is set to mute you can select that and change it to marker. Once you've done that, every time you press the road button, which is just at the bottom of the transmitter, this will create a little green flag in the recording. And the main purpose of this is if you want to remember where certain sections of your audio are important for your post editing, then you can set a reminder by creating a little green flag or marker. Or sometimes, and this happens to me a lot as well, if I'm recording something and I mess up and I want to re-say all of those things again, then I can just hit the flag and then I can quickly go into the Rode Central app afterwards and export my selection after where I want it to start. So the green flag is kind of like a reminder 
of specific like chapters within the audio recording of how that works. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start the backup recording first, just so that this loads up onto the Rode Central app first. So the red light is now on. So as this is recording, I've also set this transmitter up to use markers as well, not just the one that's in the case right now. The button just at the bottom here, I'm going to select this once. The green light at the bottom just flashes twice. That lets you know a marker has been placed in the audio recording. And then anytime you want to remember to end the recording at a specific marker or a point, then all you have to do is press it again. So I've done that. And now that's set two green flags in my audio recording. And of course, there's no limit. You can do this as much as you want. And it's a very useful feature to remember specific points that you want to split when you do your editing. I'm just going to go ahead and press this a third time just to show you what the flags will look like when I load it up onto the Road Central app. And then I'll go ahead and that's the fourth time. When I'm done, I stop the recording. I can turn off the backup recording. So now that's off. What I'm going to do is now switch over my microphone as well whilst I place all of these back into the charging case and show you how that looks on the Rode Central app. Okay, so I have all three devices back into the charging case. So let's take a look at the app and how the markers look. So I'm here on my transmitter. This is the recording that I just did. So if you see, I select this. And if we go along the audio timeline, you can see those green markers there as flags. You can see that's very useful. I remember if I wanted to start the audio recording from maybe the first marker, then what I can actually do is create a selection by just right clicking and then just dragging the selection to those markers and exporting that selection specifically. So that is a very useful thing because you then don't need to remember by listening to your entire audio where you wanted it to cut off. So this is a bit of a time saving feature, but when you do very lengthy shootings this is going to be very useful to remember where you wanted to start and stop a particular piece of audio or where you wanted to cut it for your post editing now of course if you have a very very long audio recording maybe a podcast then you can skip to the markers by just hitting the next green icon there you can go back and it's just a very nice and convenient way to remember all of the different segments of your audio recording so for me, that is a very good feature on the Rode Wireless Pro that I've not seen in any of my other wireless microphone kits. Okay, and last but not least is the very long range that these wireless mics have. Now, the Rode Wireless Pros say that you can go up to around 260 meters in distance at a straight line of sight. That's probably the longest I've seen on any small wireless microphone kit like this one. And of course, if you are the type of person that does a lot of outdoor shooting, then you want to have the versatility knowing that this can work really well at long distances. Now this path that I'm standing in front of is around maybe 300 meters, but I'm gonna go around maybe the 200 meter mark, still speaking into the microphone that's clipped onto the top of my shirt and hopefully give you an idea of how great this works at long distances. So I'm gonna go ahead and start walking and at certain intervals, I'll stop, I'll turn back to you and showcase how clear the audio still maintains at those distances. So we'll start to keep moving now. So I think we've crossed around the 50 meter mark. So I'm gonna continue going towards the 100 meter mark, but hopefully you can still hear me quite clearly at this distance. Okay, I am now approaching the 100 meter mark. Hopefully the audio is still very clear. It's very crisp. This is gonna be much longer than any filming that I would ever do. But if you're on a very large production set and you're very much like a pro filmmaker, then you can be comfortable knowing that the wireless pros are going to get really great audios at this distance. So now I'm gonna push it back towards the 200 meter mark and let's see how the audio still comes out. Two hundred meter mark. This is a very long distance. Now I'm pretty sure it might be quite difficult to see me at, but I want to know if you can still hear me. That's going to be the most important factor. So what I'm going to do is start heading back, and then we'll wrap up the video back indoors. So I've had a playback 
at the 100, 150 meter mark, it was super crisp, it was very clear. When I did push it to around the 200, 200 plus meters, you can probably hear it was starting to crack quite a bit. And I probably don't think there would be that many scenarios for anyone to be able to film at that distance. So overall, I'm happy with the distance, even though yes, it does work over 200 meters, it may not be as clear as you'd expect it to be. It depends if you all want to do any post editing for it. But nonetheless, I think for long distance shooting, the Rode Wireless Pros has been a really great experience to listen to. So there we have it everyone. Those are my top five features. Hopefully you found that useful. If you are on the market for a very advanced level wireless microphone kit, that is not just great for the professionals, but also even for amateurs that are just starting off with their filming and trying to get better audio, this basically has it all. In the box, you get everything you need to connect this, not just to your camera, but also to your laptop, to your Android phone, to your iPhone, whatever it may be. It's so versatile, it has so many options. So I do recommend to check out the latest pricing information for this wireless kit by hitting the link in the description. If you have any questions about anything that I've shown or any of the other pro features that you just want to explore, then as always, drop a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video, and I'll catch you all at the next one. Take care.